Okay, this is a review of the EOLO, EOLO Max 1000 watt wind turbine. I've been eyeballing one of these for a long time, and I'm sure you have too. We're going to go over everything. I'm going to do it in English. But the manual comes in Italian first, which makes sense because it comes from in, from uh, Italy. And so I'll go over this manual. You can pause it and pick up whatever you you missed. And so I kind of read through it quick, and right away they say, don't get your hopes high. So they also have it in German, French, Espanol, Spanish. Send me the instructions in English. Now my big question when I got this was, is this 12 volt or is it 24 volt? And I kind of looked through this manual real quick. It didn't really tell me. And if it did, it was kind of like not obvious to me. But I was looking through it really quick, so maybe... Um, Maybe they're sneaky about it, or maybe I'm oblivious. But I'm hoping I can use it as a 24 volt. I saw a picture on their website that showed um, a 24 volt uh, alternator looking thing <laughs> and personalize it. I'm gonna personalize this thing for sure. Uh, I'm going to probably paint it. Um, these are wine diagrams. So it says right there real quick, 12 to 24. So, um, And then the parts, the package contents. I guess I got the basic version because I only got one box what you get and then their deluxe version I guess you get this extra stuff so anyway this came all the way from Italy uh, they had their own sending service got a little wet and then the pokey thing poked through uh, the final sender was FedEx so what it looks like the box is, is kind of buckled the next guy said uh, some bolts fell out, but he put them back in. So, that's the cinder. Right there. So, let's just see what we get. I kind of grabbed the manual out of a hole in the. There was a big hole down here. And that's where I grabbed the manual from. So, it's just got here. So I want to do a good review, first impressions, all that. So these are the blades. They remind me of something from um, something to do with like water sports, like a float floaty. They're just big, hollow. Ro is it called rota molded blades? And uh, I think I need to paint these so that ultraviolet light doesn't screw them up. Definitely need to paint them. Uh, but they're pretty light, nice and solid. They do give a little if you pinch. So, so that's that's what they are. This box, the the weight of it, um, I was able to carry it from the FedEx guy. wasn't too bad. It's, I mean, it is heavy, but not to where it breaks your back. 
Here's a question I had. Oh. Well, they came with a mounting pole, the basic version, but it does. So that's the mounting pole. And I should have brought something to measure that for you. But anyway, you can see by the size of my hand, the diameter kind of. No, that's not accurate, but it's probably in the spec somewhere. And it's probably proprietary. If you see there, too, you have some flashing or whatever from where they, uh, where they made that. See, it's a big aluminum pole. So you probably buy some more poles from them. And then there's this, these things, which I don't know right now what they are. There's several. They're aluminum, feel aluminum. And get more more wind capturing blades. These same material. Feels like it's hollow blow form the whatever it's called. Rotomotive. I don't remember exactly what the terminology is, but you get it. You can tell by the sound too. These are the connecting brackets thing majigs. I think I only have 10 minutes, so I'm trying to rush through this here. <coughs> So, when you sell a product like this, you need to have a good set of reviews. So I told the company I'd review it, and they said, great. So here you get some more connectors. These are well packed. It's like a snake full of, foam, foam bubble snake full of connectors. This is heavy, this is super heavy. Um, probably made of steel. Base, base plate. Get, get two more of these ones. Whatever they are. Get some more of these. They're not bent or nothing. That's good. They they pack these good. I know it's economy and everything, but they still did a good job putting that together. These must be the screws that got you, the uh, FedEx guy was talking about that fell out. Um, and this must be the power source right here. I'm a little weirded out by the size. Kind of small to me, but I assume they know what they're doing. Obviously, look at the specs. <laughs> 36 volts. Goodness sakes. <laughs> I needed 24 volts. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna have to get a charge controller or something. Okay, so that there's a lot of mystery solved. And it's DC. It's not AC like I wondered either. Um so that's that. That's it for what you get. So, there you go. That is it in a nutshell. And uh, these were going for a thousand bucks, and then they went on the bid system, and because these were slightly used or something. And I got this for about three hundred and fifty, and it was about one hundred fifty for shipping, all the way from Italy to Washington uh, State. So. There you go. Hopefully that solves a lot of mysteries for you. So you get 36 volts off of this. You'll need to do something. I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to read more about it. How to get 36 down to 24. But um, there you go. This is Military Dust Museum. Please like and subscribe. It helps me fund the effort.